Welcome to Allen Berry Reports TV. I'm your host, Allen Berry Labucan from AllenBerryReports.com. Uh, today we have a new uh, installment of our In the News show, and uh, where we talk about uh, resource companies with recent developments. For, before we get started, I always like to start out with some thank yous. Um, we use uh, Ustream.tv and, or sorry, Ustream. Ustream.tv and YouTube.com to uh, produce the shows and broadcast the shows. They're really great platforms for anybody uh, interested in doing their own shows, and we highly recommend them. Uh, we also have to send a thank you out to uh, if you know if you're watching the show on our website. Um, to the left and right of me, uh, you'll notice some banner sponsors. These companies are, are uh, instrumental in us being able to uh, do these shows. And uh, so we want to thank them. And uh, if you want to check out their companies, just go to, their, go to the banners, click on the banners, and that'll take you to their, their websites where you can do your own homework on those companies. And, uh, of course, to you, the viewers, without you, we wouldn't have a reason to uh, do the show so Thanks a lot for uh, for showing up and tuning in. Um, we got uh, on today's show. We have three resource companies that we're going to talk about. They're involved with uh, diamonds, silver, and gold, and we have a lot to talk about. So we're going to get right to it. Um, today's first company is uh, Stornoway Diamond Corp. Uh, on the disclosure, we are shareholders of the company. Uh, they're not in our current newsletter, but before we merged our, um, we used to have a, a, a metals and uh, and a diamond report that were separate. Now we kind of merged everything into one. Uh, if you want to find where we covered them in the past, just above me there, you'll see our report section, and that has the uh, past reports, including those diamond reports that we talked about uh, storing away in. Um, they uh, and this is the first time we've had them on our, talked about them on our show, and so um, their website is www.stornowaydiamonds.com. Uh, the news that they had out recently was on October the tenth, uh, two thousand and ten, and the headline from that news is Renard uh, Drilling expands three Kimberlite pipes anticipated positive impact on project resources. Uh, then they go on in the uh, news release that they reported the completion of the fall exploration drilling program at the Reynard uh, Diamond Project in north central Quebec. Uh, the fall program reported was a continuation of a step up program of deep, deep drilling first initiated last winter and designed to assess the size and composition of several Kimberlite pipes uh, outside the project's established uh, National Instrument 43101 compliant mineral resources. And the highlights of the drilling uh, and its implication are as follows. Uh, new intersections of Kimberlite outside of the current geological models and two new drill holes at Reynard 3 and one hole at Reynard 4 and two holes at Reynard 6-5. Anticipated increase in the quantity of inferred mineral resources estimated at Renard 3, Renard 4, and in the amount of potential mineral deposit estimated at Renard 3, Renard 4, and Renard 6.5. Confirmation of kimberlite to a depth of 513 meters at Renard 6.5. An anticipated conversion of potential mineral deposits over the uppermost elevations of Renard 6.5 to inferred mineral resources. Successful completion of a new drill hole at Renard 1. Confirming considerable size potential and enabling sampling of Reynard 1 kimberlite units for micro diamond analysis. Um, I, I mentioned kimberlite a lot in there. That's the uh, that's the host rock that uh, diamonds come from, and so that's uh, the the increase is why that's quite important. Um, some of the reasons that we uh, follow uh, um, Stornoway are um, we're very bullish on diamond prices uh, as the supply. Demand fundamental, fundamentals are pointing toward higher prices. Got soft supply, strong demand, um, you know, and uh, supply is not increasing. In fact, its uh, production is kind of going sideways, if not dipping a little bit. And uh, demand is, is very solid from uh, uh, developed and emerging economies. China and India are quickly becoming major players in the, in the diamond uh, uh, from from cutting right through to uh to to retail diamond and so 
uh, demand. So there, that's a very important uh, part of the market. Uh, Stornoway has a good pipeline of projects from exploration through to advanced stage projects. One of their key projects is in mining friendly Quebec, that's Reynard, and they're increasing the size of the discoveries at Reynard, and that will lead to <clears throat> larger road resources. And uh, there's a road um, uh, going into their project region uh, being funded by the Quebec government, uh, which is also a benefit to the economics of the Reynard project. And uh, it has the potential to become one of Canada's future diamond mines. Uh, and they are also starting to uh, re uh, focus their attention on diamond exploration. And uh, we're very positive about that as well. And so um, if you want to do some homework on the company, great place again is at their website. And um, uh, that's uh, and we always advise people to do their homework. So uh, there's one for you in the diamond sector. Our second company today is uh, Rubicon Minerals. On the disclosure, we're not shareholders of the company. Uh, they are a featured company in our email newsletter. Uh, we started coverage of them on September the 28th, 2008, which was our 19th edition. If you look above me on the website, um, you'll find a, a report uh, button. In there, we have all of our past uh, re 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 um, newsletters, and you can find that 19th edition. We've also had them on past uh, shows on our Ustream channel uh, on July the 27th and the September 2nd. If you look above me, you'll uh, find their um, uh, the the links to our uh, Ustream channel, and that uh, and then you can go look for those uh, dates to watch those shows. Um, their website address is www.rubiconminerals.com. Um, the news uh, they had out, they actually had two news releases. We're going to try to deal with these really quickly. On October the 12th, uh, their he the headline from that news release was Rubicon provides operations and permitting update. Phoenix Gold Project, Red Lake, Ontario. They go on in the press release that Rubicon announced, uh, provided an update of both operations and permitting at its 100% owned Phoenix Gold Project located in the heart of the prolific Red Lake Gold District of Ontario. Uh, in the news release, they give very good details about permitting that is in place for their current underground work and applications to use this uh, for future potential production. They also describe their underground tunnel, how their underground tunneling is going. This is important as it will give them easier access to the high grade zones at depth and will help them aggressively explore. And if all goes well, they can use these underground workings for production as well. Um, then on October the 18th, they had a news release out. The headline from that one was, New high-grade gold intercepts continue to expand Rubicon's F2 gold system, Red Lake, Ontario. Uh, the, they go on in the news release that they provided an update of the latest exploration diamond drill results from the 9X target area at its 100% owned Phoenix Gold Project located in the heart of the prolific Red Lake Gold District of Ontario. On October the 12th, uh, 2010, that was the previous uh, re um, re uh, news release, Rubicon announced the initiation of a 27,000 meter underground delineation drill program on part of the core zone uh, within the F2 gold system. And it plans to carry out approximately 40,000 meters of exploration drilling in the larger F2 gold system. Going forward, uh, Rubicon plans to batch release results from the deline delineation and exploration drilling separately. Uh, the results below pertain to exploration drilling carried out prior to the commencement of the delineation drill program. And then they had a, the table with all the drill results. Um, they also mentioned that new deep zone emerging uh, within and south of the target area 8 extends strike length of the F2 gold system by 165 meters. Uh, they have plenty of high grade uh, gold results in the press release. For example, one hole uh, drilled south of the 9X target area intersected 66.7 ounces per ton gold over 2.1 feet. Um, at a vertical depth of 4,219 feet. In the, NR, in the news release, they have a table with several high-grade intersections, and they also have maps that can give you a good idea of the scope of this project and where they have had drilling success. Some of the reasons that we like the company, um, Red Lake is one of the best gold camps in the world for high-grade gold. 
they have they've uh, Rubicon has had a lot of success with their drilling on their uh, on their project. Uh, the project is in Ontario, uh, which is a mining friendly jurisdiction. They are well fin they are well they are a well financed gold uh, company, and with all the drilling they are doing, um, uh, we expect them to have a good news flow in the future. So again, those are some of the reasons we follow them, some of the re things we liked out of their recent press release, and uh, go check out their website to do your homework. The third company we're going to talk about today is the Extore Gold Mines. On the disclosure, we're not a shareholder. Uh, they are a banner sponsor on our website, and if you click on their banner uh, on our website, it'll take you to their website where you can do some research on them. Uh, they are a featured company in our Allen Berry Reports uh, email newsletter. Uh, they, we started coverage of them on our April the 8th, 2010 report, which was our 28th edition. And uh, we've also had them on our Ustream show on August the 10th and September the 9th, as well as on our YouTube uh, show on April the 21st, 2010. And again, you can find links to those two uh, channels on our website and that'll take you to the and then take you to those channels where you can uh, find those shows um, extore's website is www.extorre.com uh, the news release out was on october the 19th the headline was extore announces results for sierra moro preliminary economic assessment uh, eight-year mine life 133 thousand ounces of a, a year of gold equivalent average production and us 201 dollars uh, gold equivalent cash costs uh, year a uh, per year for the first five years um, this project uh, the sierra moro project is in santa cruz province argentina um, and the uh, pea the preliminary economic assessment was based on their uh, 43101 uh, resource Estimate some of the highlights uh, total metal production of 436,000 ounces of gold and 21 million ounces of silver over eight years for the first five years gold production averages 76,000 ounces a year plus silver production of 3.4 million ounces per year for an average gold equivalent production of 133,000 ounces average cast costs on a gold equivalent basis are $201 US uh, per ounce. Initial capital cost of uh, U.S. $109 million. Uh, payback period at 0% uh, discount at 1.77 years. After-tax IRR of 43.4%. Financial model expected to enhance to, by inclusion of $30 million of tax credits. Uh, conceptual development plan on combination open pit and underground mining at combined peak rate of 75, 750 tons per day. Also in the news uh, release are plenty of details about the preliminary economic assessment, maps that show the conceptual mine plans, and quotes from management. It gives a very good overview of the Sierra Moro project. Some of the reasons that we like the company, they're in a mining friendly jurisdiction. The area has heated up due to the recent takeover offer for Andean resources that is in the same region as Extore. They have high-grade gold silver discoveries found close to surface and this combination of high-grade near surface has a lot to do with the quick payback of capital costs and low cost production. They are, uh, and now then they're able to work pretty much year round so they'll have a good flow of news. Um, again, uh, if you want to do your homework on the company, check out their website. Or if you're on our website watching this show, just click on the banner for Extore and that'll take you to their website where you can do your own homework. Before closing, we'd like to stress that this show and our uh, reports are for information purposes only. We aren't making buying or selling recommendations. It's important for you to do your own research and speak with your financial advisors before making any investment decisions. Um, we're always trying to grow our audience and every, any effort uh, you can make to uh, let your friends that follow the markets know about our shows and our, and our website. We really appreciate that. We also really appreciate you taking the time to um, uh, watch the show. We know that everybody is very busy these days and we strive to produce a show that saves you time and brings you helpful, high quality information. Our next show will be an in the news show or a market commentary that we'll be putting out tomorrow. Uh, and we hope you can join us for that show. You can find all of our work on our website at allenberryreports.com and a great way to uh, find out about our shows is on our subscribe to above. Have a great day.